Stay tuned to see my build of my Gundam model kit from Target. So as you see, here's the front of the box, side of the box, other side of the box, nothing on the back. This will show you how the front of the of the kit would look. Back of the the rear of the kit, the action pose you can get it in it is from Bandai. And if you want to, you can look that up. There you go, right there. I'm going to put this thing together. It's 101 one, one of 141 scale RX78 Gun, Gundam model kit from America type. So I'll be right back. I'm going to put it together. It probably won't be today, but we're going to start putting it together and we're going to see what this model kit is all about. So be safe out there. Enjoy your collection. And the High Man is out. Hello everyone, this is your man Hotman. Welcome back to my channel. This time I'm doing a review on my first model kit that I put together. My Gundam model kit that I did get from um, Target. Um, this model kit um, range price is $9.99. Um, pretty much in the same format as your other kits, uh, your other Gundams, but this one is a little bit more different. I think this model kit really gives you the, um, the, 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 the really enjoy the the uh the the, sh the the shape and the form of how a um a, a action figure kind of work out and everything I think it it, it gives you a, a detail and size if you put a piece on you don't really feel that you're going to be kind of scared to take um something apart to um to fix it because it's something that you put together with your own two hands um. I really enjoyed the build. This is a, a real into into in, like an introduction. Like if you're trying to really get into model kits and you you always kind of been kind of hesitant, like I have been over the time um, to get into model kit. This is a more into grade type of our gun that you can get into if you want to get into it and to enjoy it until you get um, much better into and more comfortable of uh, enjoying the, the model kits. That um, after I put this model kit together, it make me feel like well, I may, I'm, I'm not willing to maybe go get a more difficult model kit at this moment in time. But maybe down the line, I do have two of them that I uh, have have really that that really took the time out to work on. They're the more upper grade model kits I have got time to work on. So I said, well, um, I said to myself, maybe if I get a a, a lower kit. Uh, model kits start working on them maybe I, I get a bit better confidence um finally got into uh target and finally found them they've been kind of hard to, to find them but working this new schedule gave me a chance to go inside some stores early after i get off from work um i got it going on the turntable the turntable i got you see going around is the um i'm gonna call it the hobby man 1000 um, I had it for, for a while, but finally got a chance where I can use it. I, uh, so let's go back into the, um, the model kit. It's very fully posable, uh, very articulated, as you can see. Um, I'll, I'll take it off the stand and I'll show you uh, one of the things I did wrong and some things I did right. And like I said, it didn't take long. Um, I was actually watching the prices right as I was putting this model kit together and I'm comfortable at the time. Uh, something that I, I, I was enjoying doing and uh, I'm going to pause come come back and um tell you more how I feel about this model kit and um and um maybe something that you might want to get into and I tell you I'm gonna show you some of the things I did wrong and um and some things I did right so I uh, don't go nowhere and if you do come back and we hope you enjoy the rest of um coffee and video with me and um, we can talk about this model kit. So hold on to your britches, and I'll be right back and, and talk about this Gundam. All right, guys, we're back. Um, as you see, I cleaned up the area a little bit. Let me show you the booklet first. Here's the booklet right here. Let me turn, let me turn the light on. Turn the light off. Here's the booklet right here. Um, the booklet is not really difficult. Like I said, you can. Here's um. And then you can probably go and check out the videos if you want to. If you want to pause that and you take your phone and read that and check it out. And show you how the front part of the, um, the Gundam both look. And also the back part of Gundam. Here's the um, 
Here's the uh, uh, um, how to put the model kit together. It's a very easy step. If you like, I said, if you never put a gun together, let me explain something to you a little bit and maybe just help you out and maybe just give you um, uh, uh, to change your mind. Each is each Gundam comes on a tree. A tree is pretty much. Uh, I, I was giving it to away. I'd be lucky I didn't throw them away. This is more like a tree, how it is going to be. Something like this. Now, to you do when you do a Gundam, uh, you be you need to get one of these. Always make sure you buy a good quality pair of these. Now you can buy these um these clippers right here. You can buy them, and they they'll be right in the same section. You'll see the model kits. Um, um, they you go, they're gonna cost you about at least fourteen bucks between seven dollars to fourteen dollars to get them. It really depends. They, they, it's good to always have a good pair. Um, it's gonna come on a tree like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you see, these numbers right here, probably hard to see that. You see those numbers right there? Now what you do, if you're putting a certain number together, you see these numbers right there, there's A1. You're gonna go to the, that tree I just show you, A1, find this, and just clip that piece off. And then you go to A2, find that number and clip that piece off. Then you're gonna to go to B1 and three, and you're gonna clip that piece off. That's pretty much, and this is, is, is no glue, there's no glue um, involved. Everything is, is snapped together. Guys, I do apologize. I, I didn't, I thought I had enough um, space on there, so I had to delete a couple, a couple older videos. But back to I was saying, um, <clears throat> there's no glue involved. It's a very easy kit, kit, to, kit, um, kit to put together. I found it very relaxing. So let me show you the do's and the don'ts um, and everything. Now, come down to putting the sticker. These, this, these, this right here is a sticker. These are all here are stickers. Even the one that's going um, around is a sticker. I'm not good at putting the stickers on. I'll, I'll be very truthful with you. Um, everything, his head was probably to me personally, um, was the hardest part to put together. The only reason why I said that because you got to be careful with the um, this this part right here. These, these is it's a separate piece that you had to snip on. And you had to probably put those on there. You probably can, you can't really see his eyes. There you go. There's his eyes. That's not. It's not a sticker. That's a. That's a. That's a, um, a, a model piece kit right there. Um, these front pieces do go up and down. Right there, they do move up and down. The side pieces do move up, up and forward. The shield piece. Um, it can. You can remove it. You can also put this piece. Can you move this piece? I didn't try. If you want to, you can move this piece right here, and you can also put peg it onto the back. The bean sabers, I didn't put them in tight enough. There you go. Um, the bean sabers is a clip-on piece. You can clip in the back. Um, you can also peg the shield on the, to the back. Um, this piece right here can rotate up and down. The gun can, it can be moved if you want to. The hands are sculpted in the, in the way to hold the gun and the shield because you could put you could put the shield in his hand if you want to. You don't have to. Um, and that's see, that's the beauty of it. See, me personally, if there was something like a kit that I or something I just bought that popped off, I would be like, oh no, it's falling apart. I don't have to worry about it. It's all pretty much just a snap together. And I just snap that piece right back in there, like so, and then you don't have to worry about it. I didn't have it in. I didn't really didn't have it in all the way. I, I, it's not a place. It's not a piece that you're really gonna just like really mess with and slam around. It, it's a. It's, it can be. A, it's a delicate piece. Um, I work on that leg. This is all. Everything. Every, it, it's a fun piece. I enjoyed it. Um, hope you want to maybe get into it. <clears throat> if you want to get into it, um, it's it's made by Bandai. And it's fun and it's enjoyable. 
so thank you for watching my video um everyone have a good day good night enjoy your collection where wherever you may be going and be safe out there and i'll talk to y'all guys later in the next review with the hobby man thank you